Get ready to find your passion. Get ready to find your life. Ed Carr Carey's passion is to help others start a fire in their souls. Ed has owned and operated many successful businesses, been nationally recognized and recommended for his sales training and motivational speaking. And now, he's here to guide you into finding your passion. Here's Ed Carr Carey. Did you ever watch the movie with Richard Gere when he plays Landslide? in First Night. Now it's an older movie. You gotta be an old guy like me to probably have watched it. It's actually not a bad movie. And one of my favorite parts of the movie was near the beginning where Lancelot's traveling from town to town. This is how he raises his money and he lives. He He's sword play. He's putting on a demonstration. It's like the circus comes to town and he's out there in the middle and he's playing with his sword and doing things. And the crowd gathers around, they watch him. And when it was all done, everybody's clapping and there people are donating to him. This one young farmer comes up to a big guy and he says, I want to be able to do that. I know I can do it. He goes, what do I have to do to be like you? And Richard here, playing that slot, says, tells him a number of things. It was the last line that I thought was great because the first couple of lines, he said, okay, do this. And the young farmer said, oh, I can do it. I can do it. And he's getting all excited as he goes on. But it was the last thing that Richard Gear told him to do. He says, you must not care whether you live or die. And the young farmer, his whole face crashed, and he turned around and he walked away, shoulders slumped. He was dejected and defeated because here was the point. He wasn't willing to pay the price to be great at swordplay. He wanted it, but he wanted it easy. And here's the key to all of this. The most committed wins in anything in life. I'm not talking war or terrorism. I'm talking your life. Whatever you're most committed at, that's what you're going to win at. The problem is in society today, we're not that committed. We're like that young farmer. We get all excited. We want something. We want great grades. We want a great marriage. We want to raise great kids. We want a great community. We want a great job. We want to make a lot of money. Whatever the kind of success, we want health. But then we find out what it's going to take. We're sitting in with the doctor and the doctor says, okay, you got to give up all processed food all sugar, no more fast food, no more of the foo-foo frappuccinos. You gotta eat right, and you gotta add broccoli and spinach in. And we walk out of his office and we're like, that guy's a quack. There's no way I'm gonna do that. I know there's another way around it. We're just not willing to pay the price. You must be fully committed to the things that you want. There's things that you have to give up, and that's what commitment means. Do you remember the story in the Bible where the rich young ruler come up to Jesus and he's like, how do I get to heaven? He's all excited. And Jesus says, well, sell everything you have and you can get there. <laughs> he turns around just like the farmer. He's like, there's no way. And what Jesus was telling him is, you don't have to sell everything that you have. He made a point with him by showing him he was more committed to his wealth than he was to the kingdom of heaven. What are you most committed to? Because that's what you're going to do. Whatever it is that you want in life, you're going to have to walk away from certain things. So when I say that you must not care whether you live or die, I don't mean actually physically die. I mean die to the things that are controlling you. Like, how about the entertainment? Are you willing to give up TV and Facebook and social media and all that easy entertainment to have success in your marriage, to have a great marriage or a great job or great whatever? Are you willing to walk away from anchor associations? You know, those negative, toxic, complaining people that are around you? Are you willing to give up your fearful feelings? You know, those feelings of people pleasing, of risk aversion, of having to stand alone, or maybe even the risk of failure? How about some of those horrible habits that you have, like showing up late, being undisciplined, lazy work ethic? Are you willing to give those things up, to die to those things, to be fully committed to your marriage? your community, your job, your church, your health, because the most committed wins in this game. My name is Ed Carcary. I'd love to connect with you. You can find me at edcarcary.com. Find your passion. Find your life.